Welcome to JSA TV, where we are covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations across the entire digital infrastructure community. We are here live at ITW 2020, 2025 International Telecoms Week, and it has been a bustling three days. And I am so pleased out of the uh, bustling three days to be able to pull you in. Priyush, CEO of Airx. Welcome to JSA TV. Thank you so much for having me here. It is it's a good pleasure. To be here. Yeah, thank you. How has the event been for you so far? It's been really amazing. Uh, I've been attending the ITW for decades and uh, the show has been ever evolving. Um, this time we had a lot of uh, good uh, you know, things to talk about. We, we had a customers and then partners uh, interested to see us, to see what, what we are doing new. Um, it's been productive, I must say. Uh, and you know, if you, even you don't do business, you get to meet people. That's more than enough for me is to build a relationship, right? You know, events are good, but you know, you, you keep on doing it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it, it was good. Yeah. Very good, very good. Which sounds like you'll be back next year. I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> I, I don't want to miss this event, right? You know, I don't want to miss seeing people. Right. Right. So it's yeah. all about the connections. It is it? absolutely. Yes. 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 Okay, for our viewers that may not be as familiar with Airx as, uh, as sure. others, can you start by telling us a little bit about your company? Absolutely. So Airx is a UK headquartered company. We are a global network integrator. Mm -hmm. uh, we op uh, operate about 200 countries uh, through our you know, direct ISP partners and third party carriers. Uh, it's a big in numbers, but what we really do is we provide last mile access network connectivity, uh, DIA and broadband and 45G, as well as Ethernet services. Uh, back in 2018, the part of the business was acquired by a Czech company called Nico. Uh, they're a pretty established organization in the wholesale uh, infrastructure management solutions. That, that's what they do, CPEs and field services. So we kind of joined the forces together and we came in the market actually in 2018. And since then, we have been really growing as a one-stop shop, providing a complete full stack solution for service providers. That's quite a portfolio. Service providers, a one-stop shop makes sense. Great. Indeed. You have an interesting announcement to make about a new product, and or I guess I should say platform, X1 by Airx. I'd love to hear more about it. Absolutely. It, it, it has been an exciting journey. I think this is the point for industry that what we are seeing is the automation is the key to lead the AIs, the you know, machine learning, the you know, cloud, and you know what it's solving is the purpose for you to do things better, you know, and smarter. So we believed into uh, X1. There is a need for our customers, for our partners to automate as much as possible. We have just launched this on Monday um, and we have received quite a decent amount of feedback uh, and I'm really pleased that we, we, are, we are doing really well. Uh, the platform is about providing one-stop shop solution, uh, automation through APIs, integrations, the buildings, uh, the providers are on net and instant quotations. It follows through the journey to provide, you know, procurement as, you know, a service as well as delivery and service assurance and it's a one-stop shop, basically, for service provider. Very interesting. So uh, tell me a little bit about the inspiration behind it. What inspired you guys to create this platform particularly? Uh, absolutely. Uh, and I think uh, you, know, you, you may agree that you know the, the telecom world has been so much of fragmented and such a difficult to, you know, when you talk about a project size of, you know, a couple of hundred sites, you know, worldwide, you take enormous amount of time, days and weeks to actually do a basic course. Uh, and it's not just us, it's everybody who actually struggle to, you know, submit things on time for a basic, you know, quotations. Uh, the need has always been there, uh, but the intelligence piece was missing out, the automation. Uh, there, there, there are automations across in Western, you know, Europeans and the Americas. But when you, as soon as you go to Africa, Southeast Asia, you know, you get stuck. Um, the purpose built for the X1 is to really look from the perspective of those hard reach places. How can we automate it? How can we make more world more connected? So we have onboarded about you know um, a lot of hundreds of vendors to the platform with their data. We're driving the platform through um, APIs, the buildings, intelligence using the machine learning. Uh, we say that we are AI-enabled platform, mm -hmm. and we will be the first AI-enabled platform who solves the purpose for 
under identifying who's on net, who's near net, and who can serve the part of the network in, in which country. Um, and it's, it's just a journey for us, which is starting now. And yeah, we are very excited about it. So tell me, uh, your clients that are coming to you, what pain points or challenges are they often facing that yeah. makes them turn to you and to this new platform? Absolutely. So I, I see the, the one of the biggest challenges, and, and in fact, too, is the visibility and speed. So I, to understand who is available from the infrastructure perspective and how quick can you do something, right? You know, and we all struggle. I, I've been, you know, the procurement guy. I've been, you know, waiting, waiting just to understand, okay, who is there and what price I can get, right? Mm -hmm. um, we all have one way or another uh, an answer to it, but how can we digitalize it? How we can automate so my basic needs can be fulfilled? So what we solve is that to bring as much as the speed to the you know, projects from a procurement perspective uh, and to be visible, like, you know, as I said, you know, on net and near net, at least to provide that much of insight for right. people who are buying the last mile who are buying the network. So this this platform is about intelligence. Uh, so we have um, 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 Google you know, Maps integrated with it. We are using our AWS cloud. We are scaling the way that telecom has been actually traditionally running through the digital ecosystem, utilizing machine learning. Uh, it's a big space, but actually there, there are things which machine learning can help than, you know, overdo things all right so i mean it's 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 an exciting journey as i said you know it's, it's going to take a little bit of time for us to really be invisible and disrupt the market uh but the journey is kicked off from itw it sounds like it and you know in a nutshell i what i heard from you is intelligence equals power and that's what you're enabling for these clients absolutely absolutely yeah you know and there is a need you know we we've been in uh, in itw for many years and and this is especially uh, when we uh do the demo we have done an exclusive demo and people love it the feedback we are receiving is very promising and it it took us a good amount of time uh, i have been personally involved on to this for last 12 months day and night we've been doing codings we've been doing you know late night you know calls and sleep for four hours and you know, <laughs> it's it's been it's been an exciting journey mm -hmm. i'm really pleased to say what is out there in the market and people have seen it and they're giving good feedback so you know work pays off, right? You know, so yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you were sharing with me earlier, so I wanted to share it with our viewers too, that you actually developed this X1 platform in-house versus outsourcing it. I would love to hear what made, uh, what what uh, helped you go that route and why it's so important. Sure. I, I think it was one of the uh, important pieces for us to decide, mm -hmm. are we ready to do a patchwork? You know, do we want to do a patchwork? Or do we want to create an innovative product which right. helps, which answers a lot of difficult questions? Um, it took seven years to come out, uh, but we did it right thing, right? You know, so what this is, why this has happened is just for a simple thing. You know, we want to scale it. We want to be as flexible. We want to be a one-stop shop for a network services. is isn't just about like last mile. It's about infrastructure. It's about giving the people a one stack full stack of platform which provides connectivity infrastructure resources which are available and something like this doesn't exist in the market at the moment so we we hope that we will be leading this way uh if we would have done a patchwork maybe we we had done it maybe five years ago but the the type of customers we have, the type of products we have, doesn't solve the purpose. Right. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Oh, fascinating. Well, it sounds like an amazing product that's coming to market. It has come to market. Uh, for viewers that are interested in learning more about Airx or this particular platform, how can they reach you? So they can simply visit our website. Uh, they can come to uh, the page. They can log in, register for it. Um, they can reach out to me, my team, anytime. Um, uh, we are available, you know, everywhere, um, LinkedIn, you know, so yeah, there is an easy way to contact us, go to the website. Yeah. That sounds perfect. We'll do that. Okay. Piyush, it was a pleasure to meet you today. Likewise. Thank you for joining us on JSA TV. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, it was great to speak to you today. Great. Thank terrific. You. Well, and to our viewers, thank you for tuning in. And I would say stay curious, stay connected and happy networking.